Olympus Workspace is a free photo editing software primarily for pictures we take with our Olympus camera. And I wanted to help you get started using this because it's a very powerful tool to help you improve your photography and to understand your camera better. All right, so let's just start at the top here. Uh, we have our first ribbon, which has our normal uh, file options that we can go through. And uh, I don't normally need to go into this because the second row here, this ribbon here, has all of the icons I'll ever use for the most part. And uh, out of all these icons here, the only one I really use is this uh, export. Well, I use the import to bring the pictures in, but then the export, uh, you know, this lets us export the image after we've done all of our editing, if we do any, to another folder or the same folder with the edits applied that we did maybe against the raw file, for example. And then uh, I rarely use any of these other features, but we'll talk about those in another video. Now this next uh, row of icons here uh, controls how you see the folder that I selected here. So right now I'm in the thumbnail view, so I just see thumbnails of all the images I took from that night. This one here gives us the film strip at the bottom and a, a large, larger window here for the image itself. This is the one that I prefer where it puts the film strip over here to the right. And then finally this one here uh, pops the picture out altogether so you can drag it to wherever you want within this workspace. Or if you have two monitors, you can drag this window out to another monitor and you know edit it in full screen mode if you prefer. The other thing you may have noticed is that there's little uh, translucent icons that pop up with arrows. And this, this um, allows you to place this window somewhere within this workspace uh, on your desktop. So if I want to uh, have that film strip over to the left side, I could drag the picture over to the right like this. And now the film strip is over here. And we have the larger image over here. And then this last one is just to uh, present the image in full screen. So let's go back to the thumbnail list view and look at these uh, five icons here on the right. And this is really the meat of the Olympus Workspace software. And uh, the first icon here is very powerful feature for grouping pictures together into named collections. So regardless of where the pictures are on your hard drive, you can create a collection called say window shots and put them together into uh, one place so that you can access them quickly anytime later. So let's just do an example of that. Let me click this on. And you'll notice when I'm clicking this on and off, the bottom left opens and closes. And I don't have any collections now. So let's create a new collection of, say, window shots similar to these up here. So what I'll do is I'll just click New. And I'll just call this uh, Window Shots. And now I have my first collection. And to add images to this collection, all I have to do is go to the thumbnail and right click it, scroll down here and say add to collection and we'll call it uh, window shots. And then let me scroll down. Um, let's see if there's any more window shots. <laughs> this is kind of a window shot, we'll add this one. So I'll right click this add to collection window shots but I can also go to different folders say back here on the ninth and add uh, this window shot so I'll right click on it add to collection window shots and you may have noticed that uh, there's a number here that tells you how many pictures are in the window shots collection and when I added that picture say let's say I add this picture here You notice it, it skipped up to eight. So it goes from six to eight, even though I only selected one. And that's because this is a raw plus JPEG image. So it added both the raw and the JPEG together. Uh, but now if I wanted to see, and, and I can do this all the way back as far back as I want to go, regardless of where the pictures are on my hard drive, I can add them to this collection. And if I click on it here now, you'll see that only the pictures I added to the collection now show. And you'll notice this has grayed out. So this, this is a great way to organize your pictures into groups. 
Uh, you know, I do this a lot actually in, in Lightroom with its uh, data asset management or, you know, picture management so, uh, feature that it has. But this is uh, a very powerful feature that you get for free in Olympus Workspace. And it's handy, say, for example, uh, as you get better at your photography and, you know, say, for example, waterfall pictures, and you get really good at editing waterfall pictures, you want to go back and edit the rest of them, you can uh, just click on your uh, waterfall collection and go back and edit, you know, older pictures with all your new skills. Let's move on to the next icon here, the filter icon. So I'm going to close the collection window and select my folder here from the 16th and go back to all of the pictures I took that day. And the filter icon basically allows you to uh, select certain pictures with certain attributes so that you can group them together within the folder. And the attributes you can assign are a star rating and a color mark. So let's just start with the, the most basic filter over here and say photos only. And now only the photos I took are showing in none of the video. Uh, I can also select only the JPEGs that I took that day. Or I can select the raw only. Or I can select only the movies I took that day. And this, this is the vlog I did from last week uh, with my 17 millimeter. But what I like to do first is I like to select a raw only because typically these are the images you can edit that have the most wiggle room and processing. And then what I'll do is I will assign a star rating to the images I want to start editing. So let's say I want to select this one and uh, not this one. Let's do this one. And you can see here I selected four stars for this. I don't know why. Let me turn this off. Uh, I like this one. We'll leave that at three stars. And maybe this one here. We'll give this two stars. And normally I would just pick one star for all of these, but I selected uh, two and three stars just to show you how this works over here. So now I just want to see the, the, the pictures that I assigned stars ratings to. So what I can do is click on one star here and now the one star image show if i want to see all the two star images as well i can select this and if i want to see the three star images i select this if i don't want to see the one star images i can turn that off here and now i'm only seeing the two and three stars or i can turn off the two stars so that i'm only getting the three star image or I can just kind of go back to all and just see only the raw images that are selected here, like so. Uh, there's one more option here to turn off these filters when you're switching folders. So say, for example, I go to the ninth. Um, I'm seeing all of the raw filters here. But if I click this to on and I go back to the ninth, it's going to turn all the filters off so that I see all of the images, not just the filtered images. So I may have different reasons or different star ratings and different folders, and I don't want to carry that over when I switch to different folders. So let's go back to the 16th. Let's go ahead and turn our filters back on. And then let's select the one star images. So this would be the first two images maybe that I want to start editing. And that's basically what the filter icon is for, is for you to group pictures and assign star ratings or color filters, etc. Now, to show you a, uh, to assign a color to these pictures, let's say I want to assign this one, I would just uh, left click actually on this little box here, and then I can assign this, say, a purple color. And then I can go on here and combine these two filters so that I'm only seeing the one star purple filters. So give some thought about how you want to use these filters and how you want to group pictures together. Uh, typically I just use one star for pictures I want to start editing, like so. And then I use the colors to group different lenses together. So I might have used a you know 25 millimeter on this image and I know that because I have a purple star next to it. Um, and if I don't, if I only want to see the images I took with the 25 millimeter, 
I would do this. Now that's not the case here. This actually I used a 17, but I'm just trying to give you some ideas for some brainstorming on how you would use these color marks and these star ratings and then selecting only the raw files or the movies that you want to edit. And then of course you can reset everything here with one click so that it's not filtering anything. The next icon here is the properties icon and to me this is really the most powerful feature in the Olympus Workspace software because what it does is it shows you every setting you had in the camera when you took the picture and it really has helped me a lot to learn uh, all of the different settings in the camera also it helped me improve my photography by understanding the settings and thinking about what settings would I do if I were to take this picture again would I do anything different what settings would I change so uh, in my next video I'm gonna talk about this icon and how you can use this to improve your photography